Guys, today we're going to open not one, but two Funko Fun on the Run mystery boxes. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So by now, most of you guys probably know exactly what this box is. We finally got our Funko Fun on the Run mystery boxes in the mail. And I'm so excited because as a diehard Freddy Funko collector, there is a chance to get the reverse Flash Freddy Chase, which I desperately need for my collection. There's actually a possible chance at hitting three chases, or what I like to call a hat trick, and I'm sure somebody out there has done it. Maybe we can do it with one or maybe even both of these boxes, that with being the Blockbuster Freddy Chase, the Reverse Flash Freddy Chase, and of course the Space Ghost Freddy Chase. But right off the bat, I gotta give Funko props. This box is beautiful. It looks really nice, really high quality. And if there's one thing that we could get from the Fun, Fun on the Run tour, I would love to see a Freddy Funko in this ride. I, I don't like the, the Fun on the Run vehicle here. I don't know what you call it, but I would love to get this exact picture right here as a Funko Pop ride. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments section below. But here we go, let's crack open the first box. It is sealed by one tiny piece of tape right there at the bottom, which I just uncut. And uh, there's quite a few items in this box, some of which come in every single box, and then others have the chance to chase, like I just said. So here we go, first box. We're guaranteed at least one Freddy Funko Pop. Will it be the Flash or Reverse Flash Chase? Ooh, it looks like for the first box, it's just the regular Freddy Funko. That's okay, that's why we ordered a second one, but this will be my first time. Check it out, Freddy Funko as the Flash. Look at that. Another DC Freddy added to the collection. They've made several DC Freddy Funko Pops before. We've gotten several Batman. I believe there's another Batman on the way. They've made Freddy Funko as Deathstroke. They've made a bunch of Freddy Funko as Supermans. And uh, even recently they came out with Freddy Funko as the Riddler for the NFT wave. But I gotta take out Freddy here because this was my main want from the Box of Fun. And he looks fantastic. Love the design, no crown, which is very interesting. Not many Freddies are crownless, so I love the little, I don't know, electricity coming off of the bottom of his feet. So Funko did an excellent job with uh, the main event here of the Fun on the Run box. If you guys actually wanna pick up one of these boxes, they're still available on the Funko Shop, which I think is pretty crazy. I know we kinda of debated back and forth whether this box was worth it. I don't know, uh, but they're still available if somebody's going after that uh, Reverse Flash Freddy Chase or the Space Ghost Chase or, of course, the uh, the Blockbuster Rewind, which is a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. But here is another item that I desperately wanted because it's the first time that we're getting Proto the Dog in collectible form. And this is pretty cool, the Freddy Funko with Proto Wacky Wobbler. And I'm going to take this out really quick because this is actually bigger than what I anticipated being. I love the box design. This is really cool. This is exactly the kind of thing you would expect for Funko's 25th anniversary. So this is pretty awesome. I'm definitely going to keep this in my collection. We need a Proto the Dog Pop though, Funko. So don't hold out on us too long for that, but that's just item number two of six from this box. Let's see what else we got here. I know we have the little pins, which are pretty basic. And let me see. Oh, we also have some stickers. Those are fun. Got a Proto the Dog sticker right there. We'll check those out later. Here are the pins, and these are actually bigger than I thought. So you can't always go by the glam shot when you make your purchasing decisions. Those are pretty cool. I'll probably put some of those on a backpack or something, but let's break out the soda. So we were actually pretty excited for this soda. 35,000 pieces though, that is a lot, but hey, I'll take any number on a soda. You put 100,000 on there, go for it, because that number means that Funko can't reproduce that character later on. It's basically like a pop that's immediately vaulted. I love that limited edition 
you know, they can't reproduce it later on because then it ruins the whole point of being limited edition. So let's get the Space Ghost ripped open here. This does have a pretty cool translucent chase, but we are actually hoping for the comments. So let's crack this open and I'm sure it's pretty high chance of us getting a common with there being like 35,000. It's probably like 28,000 commons or something, but this one's being really tough for some reason. Woo! Watch us get a chase. Man, that would be super ironic. All right, cool. We got a common, thankfully. Wow, I was wrong. I thought it was 28,000. It's 29,200. That is a lot of space ghosts. Wow. All right, but let's check them out. This is perfect. We needed the common for our collection. And like I said, we just think the common looks better. And it's like a pop with the small little pop buddy except soda form like look how cute that is with the little guy down on the bottom space ghost looks amazing love his cape love the design they really nailed it with this soda so good job funko a little bit high on the piece count but like i said i'll take a piece count any day also some other issues we've had in the past with funko shipping boxes with multiple sized items. They've got this fancy insert in here. So once again, good job to Funko on that. All right, let's save the last chase item for last. Next up, we have the cute little bitty pops. You get four little bitty pops in there. Love to see a proto pop once again. I'd also love to see the, uh, the Freddy Funko fun on the run storekeeper or driver or whatever they want to call them into a regular pop as well. I'd also love to see Freddy Funko as the mayor. They teased that for the San Diego Comic-Con promo. And we should be hopefully getting some reveals or leaks of the Freddies that we're going to be getting pretty soon for the actual box of fun. So some people were confused. They thought this was the box of fun. This is not the official box of fun. So here we go. We have regular Freddy, Proto, Freddy Funko as big boy, and then the fun on the run storekeeper Freddy. So hopefully you guys can see those. And of course they do come in the little case, which I think is brilliant when it comes to the bitty pops. But all right, let's check out the last item here before we move on to box number two now this item i wasn't too excited about as of recently when i first saw it get revealed i was a little excited because i love freddy funko but somebody said these kind of look like playmobil and uh i don't know now that we have it in hand uh let's see what i actually think so it does have that small tiny vhs vibe so i get the whole blockbuster rewind concept um, there is a chance at a black and white chase. So let's see. We are 0 for 2 on chases in this box. Let's see. Oh, he fell right out. And no chase. This is tiny. This isn't even like... I thought it was going to be as big as a soda, if not bigger. This is super small. All right. So this is what the inside of the packaging looks like. I'm not crazy about this just because... I feel like you would have to display it outside and put the figure in front, but um, it's cute. Doesn't I don't I don't see myself going too uh, too hard with these, but all right, not bad. That was box number one. Let's break out box number two. All right, so here we go, box number two. I'm gonna cut the seal very carefully. Now, guys, cross your fingers. I really need that reverse flash. Freddy Chase. Come on. First time they've dropped a Freddy Chase in over 10 years. We could be getting another one with the dynamic duo that's rumored with Batman and Robin. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do we have... No. No. No Chase on the second box. Ugh. That's okay though. Still very cool. I'm sure somebody will need this one at some point. Maybe somebody who didn't pick up the box. So I'll put him back. Ugh, really wanted that one, but that's okay. I'll have to go uh, hunt it from somebody. Maybe somebody got two boxes and they got two chases. So we're not going to go through all the other items, but I am going to open up the soda as well as the, um, the Blockbuster Freddy. So maybe we'll get lucky. We got to pull at least one chase. We had six chances here. We got to pull at least one. So, hey, you know what? Let's go for the... Uh, the Blockbuster Freddy first. 
And then we'll break open the soda. I gotta pull at least one chase, so. I'd actually prefer it to be, I think I'd actually prefer to get the Blockbuster chase at this point, so I'm gonna be a little bit more careful in opening it. I'm gonna try to hold the figure. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh, all right, we got one. We got one chase. There we go, we got the black and white chase. And there actually is, I didn't take it out before. Oh, this is pretty cool. So there's a little Blockbuster membership card. And it does say on the card that you got the chase. So I'll give Funko credit for that. That's pretty cool. I remember, um, you know, back in the day having the Blockbuster membership card. Very vaguely, though. It's not a... Uh, it's not at the top of the noggin, but all right, we got one chase. I'll take it. So we got a perfect pull on the uh, the rewind figures. I don't know. I'm still. I don't know. It's. I don't know if I'm gonna keep those, but it's it's cool to get the chase though. All right, Space Ghost. I'll take a chase Space Ghost though, cause we got the uh, we got the common. So why not? We'll take a chase. And you guys will have to let me know down in the comment section below as you're watching. Are you attending any of the fun on the run in-person events? I know a lot of people from our community are going to the Nashville event as well as the Oklahoma City, I believe, event. And then um, let me know if you got lucky and hit any chases in your fun on the run box. So here we go. And it is unfortunately another common. Well, not really unfortunately because we actually like the common better than the chase. Just unwrap this one more time. We always unwrap the sodas because you never know with the black bags they could make a mistake. Funko quality control is uh, not always the best. But hey, not bad. We got two boxes. There's definitely going to be some items that we're keeping, some items that maybe we can use for trade or giveaway. So definitely smash that subscribe button if you, have, if you haven't done so already because maybe you could win something cool from one of these boxes that we don't need for our collection. Also, over on Instagram, we are giving away three soda chases. Tonight is the deadline for our five Funko Soda Challenge over on Instagram. So you must be following us and you must create a reel with the audio that we created over there. We have over a hundred entries. You can enter as many times as you would like as long as each individual reel has five different sodas than the previous reel or previous reels that you already created. So I'm very excited. We're gonna be drawing the winners for those three chases tomorrow and I'm super excited. So. That's gonna do it for us guys. Let me know if you picked up one of these boxes and let me know why you didn't if you didn't grab one. So I'm super excited for the fun on, or excuse me, the take home box of fun that we're gonna be getting and all the Freddies that are gonna be coming out for SDCCC. So uh, make sure to hit that like button on your way out and as always, don't stop shooting until you score.